The Trimble Access Surface Inspection feature enables you to compare a scanned as-built surface such as a horizontal floor, vertical wall, inclined surface or a cylinder with the reference surface. The distance from each scan point to the reference surface is calculated and then coloured to create an inspection point cloud. The colour coded inspection cloud provides immediate visual feedback between the point cloud and the reference surface. When inspecting a horizontal floor for example, you'll be able to see immediately any parts of the floor that are higher or lower than they should be. You can then turn the instrument to the selected points to identify areas out of tolerance and assist with any remedial work. Let's take a little look at a patio I laid about 7 years ago. Tap show and then scans to select the scans you want visible on the map and to do a surface inspection on. Tap menu, COGO, surface inspection. We are going to save the inspection scan results, so first complete the name field. The patio has a fall on it, so I ultimately want to use the inclined plane method, but I'll first do a quick check with the horizontal plane method. I can pick an existing point, pick a point or elevation from the scan data, or enter an elevation. Putting focus on the elevation field, I can tap on the point cloud and see that my elevations go from 20 meters at the bottom to 2008 at the top. Tap the colour bar and you can see I have a colour scale that goes from plus 50 to minus 50 which will work perfectly with this set of data. Tap edit and you can see the distance range and colours assigned. Tap a point in the middle and we should get the average elevation of around 2004. Set the 50 to minus 50 colour scale and calc the inspection. We can see the height range goes from about minus 50 at the bottom to about plus 50 at the top. When scan points are above a horizontal surface, they will have a positive number. When they are below, they will have a negative number. Save the result and we'll now have a look and see how the pavers fit on the incline plane. Enter the name and set the method. If you already have points to define the surface that you want to use, you can select those points or you can just pick scan points. Tap in the map to select two points at the top and one at the bottom to define the reference surface we will compare the scan against. A patio should fit the incline plane well and we'll have much smaller deviations now, so we want to use a tighter colour scale this time. Tap the colour scale soft key to see the current colour scales available. As you scroll through the currently defined colour scales, you see the colour bar on the right. Tap edit to see more details and change anything. You can also create a new one or copy and then modify an existing one. Plus 10 to minus 10 is perfect for this inspection, so set this and then tap calc calculate and display the coloured inspection map. From the displayed colour map we can see the blue areas are about 5 mils above the plane, orange areas are about 5 mils below the plane. With an inclined surface, scan points that are between the instrument and the surface will have a negative number, points on the other side of the surface will have a positive number. Tap in the map and the right hand inspection panel you will see the distance and coordinates for individual points as you tap on them. I'm pretty happy with a 10 to 12 mil deviation over 18 square metres of paving. Now if this was a concrete slab that needed the high or low spots corrected, we could use the turn soft key to turn the instrument to those locations. Tap a point in the scan and then tap turn too. You could also tap and hold and select to stake out the selected points. In options we have a checkbox to auto capture screenshot. When this is enabled a screenshot of the map window is captured when you store an inspection map. To maximise the screenshot window you can drag the slider to minimise the form on the right hand side. When auto store screenshot is off you see a preview of the screenshot which also offers you the ability to rename and draw on the image. Use drawing tools like the pencil or box to highlight an area and the text tool to add text. The options soft key gives you more controls over things like line width and text size and colour. Now when we go to review we can see the screenshot where we highlight an area as well as the screenshot stored when we save the inspection results. Surface inspections are saved so we can go to the scan form and hide the original scan and instead display the surface inspection results in the map. The surface inspection feature is a quick and easy tool to use to check your scan data against a horizontal, vertical, inclined plane or a cylindrical reference surface. For more information visit the Trimble Access Help Portal. Thanks for watching.